Hi everyone, this is Whitehawk, and today I will be playing Octavia in the Underworld's Cello version 2.0 demo, or demo version 2.0. I played version 0.1.1, which was also a demo a while ago, but this one, version 2.0, this demo has uh, been out for one month now, since uh, Halloween, I believe. And I finally, I'm finally getting around to playing it, and there's lots of new changes that I'm not aware of that has been added to this version. However, one of the things that they did add, and Hero Time 1000 added, was a lot of voice acting. And uh, as far as I've heard, uh, it's pretty good. So you know what? I'm going to make this non-commentary until like, I'm done with the demo. I'm probably going to try to show as much as I can and put some commentary using uh, like uh, editing software to point out some things. But because there's so much voice acting, I'll probably only talk again when I'm done with this. So with that said, I'm going to new game and just go ahead and play voice and text. Uh, for the final version, if it ever comes out, I might do text only, but uh, who knows? I might do it like this as well. S simply put, I just don't want to talk over the text or voices rather. And yes, I will be watching the intro movie again. Somewhere at the edge of the ever free forest. How much longer, Vinyl? My hooves are killing me. Just a bit further. You ready to party down with every pony? Not exactly. I would much rather be composing another piece at home, instead of trudging around in a forest filled with bugs and dangerous creatures. Don't be such a stick in the mud, Octavia. There's plenty of them in that puddle over there. <laughs> you didn't get my joke? Because cause there's the puddle and then the... I'm sure you got it. I can't believe that the mayor would be brash enough to hold a party in the middle of nowhere. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Having a nightmare night party in the middle of the woods sounds awesome. If anything, the wild animals will be stoked that I'm bringing some mad beats for them. Well, it's just that... What? What's up? We've been walking for a while now, and I can't help but wonder. We wouldn't happen to be lost now, would we? Not a chance. The directions on the invitation were super clear. Besides, you are traveling with an expert navigational list. That's not a word, Vinyl. Whoa, I'm getting wicked flashbacks of my old English teacher. You sound just like her. Either way, I can't help but question the path we're taking. I swear I've seen that one mud puddle full of sticks before. Maybe you've been looking in a mirror. <laughs> see, see what I did there? I, I brought back the old joke. Meanwhile, at the other end of the forest... Hey, Caramel. What's swingin'? Not much, but uh, ain't we missing a couple of ponies? It's still early. The ladies will be hopping in any time now. I hope they ain't lost. The force is a mighty big place. Relax. I wrote down the directions and their invitations myself. There's no way they can. What? Dang, blast it. Who put you in charge of the invitations? The mayor did? What about it? Do you remember when we went to that one restaurant that one time? Oh, I sure do. A bit stiff for my usual fare, but the waitresses were easy on the eyes. Right. But what I'm saying is, you got up to find the cult room, and it took you 20 minutes to find it. And when you did find it, it took you 20 more minutes to find your way back to the table. What's your point? I'm saying you can't navigate your way out of an empty barn with glowing signs going to the exit, let alone right directions on how to get here. Hey, it's cool, buddy. I made sure I was doing it right. Everybody else made it here, didn't they? Besides, there's only one mansion at the edge of the forest. You can't miss it. <sighs> I suppose. See? Well, let's go mingle. Don't worry. They're fine. See? Here we are. I told you I wouldn't get us lost. Well, I suppose congratulations are in order. You've successfully led us safely to our destination without getting us hopelessly lost or eaten by wild beasts. I have, however, one more concern. And what would that be? Why is the mansion emitting an eerie green glow? Oh, sweet! They must have installed lighting effects! This is gonna be kicking! Vinyl, I hear some sort of spooky noises. 
Uh, yeah, it's it's a nightmare night party after all. It's awful creepy. They really outdid themselves on the decorations, huh? Well, it's been a great night and ever so much fun, and I'm so glad I came. But I think it's time for me to get going. Aw, oh, come on, TV. You promised that you were gonna try to have fun and that we'd have a good time. You're not gonna leave me hanging, are you? No, uh, of course not. Then open the door and let's get this party started! Oh, why do I always get dragged into these situations? What I wouldn't give for a lovely cup of Earl Grey right now. I wish I'd brought along a vacuum cleaner. This house is in dire need of it. <laughs> what, and ruin all the work that they put into making this place look absolutely spooktastic? I don't think so. Now, the invitation said in order to get in, we gotta find the key first. Find it? Why couldn't they have just let us in? Come on, it's it's just like a game, you know? Two frightened young mares stumbling across a creepy old house in the middle of the forest. Don't you ever, you know, role play or anything? I most certainly do not. Well, at least this is all just play pretend. It is all just play pretend, isn't it? Oh, of course it is. Now, where do you think that key is? I think I can make an educated guess. Time was not gentle to this house. Couldn't we celebrate Nightmare Night in a house that's a little more... well kept? Boring! If you want an actually scary party, you gotta have it in a rundown wood heap like this place. This is Vinyl Scratch, aka DJ Pond3. You have an odd relationship with her built around what can only be described as mutual tolerance. But at the end of the day, she is a kind and thoughtful pony with a good heart, and the two of you remain close friends. Although sometimes she is rather loud. Don't forget. The deal is, I come with you to your nightmare night party thing, and you wash the dishes. With soap. Not wubs. Look, I'm just trying to get you off your cello for a while so you can go out and actually have some fun for once. Is that a crime? You see a fancy ornate door that seems out of place against the age of the rest of the house. A welcome, Matt. How delightfully quaint for a supposedly haunted house. Sure enough, a key is under the mat. Vinyl seems eager for you to take it. At your friend's insistence, you take the creepy-looking key. Oh man, it's a skeleton key! Get it? Get it, Davy? Eh? At least it's not clown-themed like the mayor did last year. With a resounding click, the door unlocks. Oh yeah! Vinyl's gonna be in the house! Quite literally, too. Oh yeah, the mayor said to put the key back for the other invited party animals. So yeah, let's get on that before we go inside. Hey, we gotta put the key back for the other guests, come on. Do we really have to? Uh, yeah, why wouldn't you want to do that? So no pony else has to subject themselves to this horror. Ugh, oh, stop being such a weenie and just do it already. You lift a mat to replace the key. Hide the key under the mat. This all seems like a strangely arbitrary sequence of events that we have to perform just to enter a house. Hey, remember what I always tell you. Don't question the fun, Tavy. Don't question the fun. Oh, there, there's no more voice acting now? Oh. Well, in that case, uh, forget about the whole non-commentary thing. <laughs> I was kind of thinking it would be full commentary because uh, I went back to like as far as the intro back there but then I never got this far which means I wasn't expecting there to not be any voice acting so I guess I'll st start talking now. Well if you guys have seen my 0.1.1 video I already know how to get past this section unless the Hero of Time 1000 changed something you begin to panic as your cries echo down the pit. But sound inside are denied to you, you can no longer see nor hear your fallen friend. Immediately, you rush to the door to go find help. 
With a crash that freezes your blood, the door slams with a shut with a click. Your attempts to open it are futile. Something has locked you in! Maybe I should, like, voice act uh, Octavia and whatever, too? Uh, I guess not. I'll just voice act. Your mind fills with the fog of panic, but you struggle to keep your rapidly beaten heart under control as you focus on what's important. Yeah, I'll just voice act the white text, because uh, that's not supposed to be voiced. I guess it can be annoying to some people, but I feel like doing that, because uh, it can catch some... Although you can't logically explain her sudden disappearance, you begin to overcome your emotions and to take a step forward. All of a sudden, you hear a tapping sound coming from the west. Perhaps it's your friend giving you a sign. Hmm, that was, that's quite different. This intro is quite different from the original one. And I'm guessing I can possibly die instantly if I really, really wanted to. But I'm not going to do that yet. I know some people really like uh, just seeing all the deaths in games like this, but I'm not that type of person. I can't save yet. I wanted to, but I can't. And I have to go to the west immediately. Uh, by clicking this door right here. First word, Magica. New hint, huh? I suppose so. Enjoy your meal, my son. Mom. Despite your apprehension, your curiosity gets the better of you. The strange noises under the dish are worth investigating. If anything, its contents might shed some light on the mystery of the house you stand in. Actually, I think the intro is still the same. I, I could be wrong, though. I, I guess it's uh, because I only watched this video once. As you stare into the lifeless eyes of the rotting head, you can feel it staring back, almost as if it were still alive. Its steely gaze penetrates your mind, piercing the barriers between sanity and madness, and things begin to seep through the cracks. Voices begin whispering in the corners of your thoughts, softly at first, but echoing louder as your willpower weakens. There is no chance for you, they claim. Your friend is already dead. There is no point in continuing your search, and there is no escape from this house. Surrender is the only civil option, one that will keep you from suffering for long. And you have a purpose. A purpose for them. And a purpose for the one who claims master over the house. Joining will not be in vain. Their words strike at your weakened heart. Something about them begins to convince you. But even in the darkest of nights, a single spark can push back even the foulest of shadows, and you hear another voice screaming out from your soul. Mm, that's not voiced for some reason. Instinctively, you reply. Mm-hmm. So I think it is still the same, the intro. I just don't remember it well. At your claim, what feels like a torrential wind rushes through your head, followed by a sound of light to the howling of trees in a storm. When it dies down, you find yourself with a reforged sense of bravery. Determined, you lift your head high and continue to search, but tread carefully lest the voices rise again. Vinyl will not be able to save you a second time. No, they're not gone, Octavia. As paranoia takes over, you start to doubt yourself again. Yes, I am. You- Oh, you can hear me, can you? I've always been here, dear Octavia. I've been with you since the very start. Why, there's a lot I know about you, my dear. Voices in one's head tend to know much about their hosts. Well, that's a good question, isn't it? Suffice it to say that the shock of seeing that head must have dislodged something. Come now. Have you never talked to yourself before? Every pony's done that, certainly. Had a voice or two in their heads once in a while, or spoken to themselves when they're alone. Let's just say that I just happen to be louder than usual. Oh, you are, slowly, but surely. It's just that I'm not contributing to that. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Da 
That's the idea, yes. Probably not. Come on now, you have a friend to save, don't you? Time's wasting. And what's that? Aha. Uh -huh. I don't make up the rules, dear. Caution, unlike other adventure games, you cannot save at any time. You'll find a way to save your game soon enough, but this is placed here, so you don't have to replay the intro scene again over and over again. Would you like to save? Yes, I will. And it apparently you preserved my save game from the, my previous attempt. Probably because it saves in my documents. Anyway, uh, we have a time limit. I think it's like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I know how to beat this. If you touch the head, you die immediately. There, are, there is a sort of kind of hint to it, but... I still feel that it doesn't make much sense. Anyway, this is a new thing, so let's check that out. First word, Magica. Who put that up there? Why? And most importantly, how? And I'm not supposed to voice Octavia, but I guess I'll do that accidentally occasionally. A portrait hangs on the wall. Mm-hmm. Oh, and what about the severed head? Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about uh, the narrator suddenly having a role in the plot. I guess it's to loosen the mood, maybe? Because this is a game of ponies. You stare at the painting, yearning for a more peaceful setting than you are currently in. Mm-hmm. You brush your hoof across the painting. Well, I guess I better show something now, <laughs> instead of just trying to interact with everything, because uh, there's probably, I probably should save that for like the ultimate playthrough of this version of this game when it's like fully out. So if you touch this thing right here, well, I'm going to look at it first. It's a fragile looking urn. Upon closer inspection, it seems to be full of thick gray dust, ashes to ashes. It's just a saying, don't overthink it. A bad scene, Octavia? Come on. So if you tip this thing over... Well, I made you do that, Octavia. A ghost appears, and that scares your character, which increases your insanity meter. Your pulse races for a moment, but you calm down soon after. The apparition doesn't seem to return, it is now merely a ghost of the past! See? You're already at yellow. So, although you do have a time limit, this also functions as a health meter of sorts. Anyway, I, actually, it has been a while since I've last, uh, you know, done this, so I better not fool around too much. Hmm. Potentially. Dad seems to be a bad pony. Yes, it does. Got a wooden ladle. It's quite a formidable weapon. I might, may or may not need it. I Actually, I will. Not very much by the looks of it. However, there might be a way to make items more useful with the help of another tool. Oh, so that's what I am? I'm the character who just spoils everything for, for Octavia? I'm the tutorial guy? Well, this is the first segment, and it can be a bit daunting for newcomers to this genre of game. I'll force it open. Upon close examination, the metal runners at the side of the drawer seems to be a bit rusty and full of ick. No, I'm pretty sure if I apply more force, that's death. Because we need... It's, it's full of sharp stuff, you know? Y you know how it's going to end if you try to force open something that's full of sharp stuff. It is neat that, if you're curious, you do get rewarded for it, though. Anyway, we need one of the pans. And I, I think for some reason, now that I... I was able to touch uh, the big one, yet I got the small one anyway. I think in the version 1.1, if you touched uh, any of them, you'd have to touch the small one to get it. Maybe. I, I don't remember the specifics, really. Let's look at the pot. A pot of spaghetti sauce. Yeah, spaghetti sauce, I'm sure. No, it does appear to be that. Won't be surprised if it comes back up later, though. Eh, you know what? Let's try something. Let's see if that does anything. No? No, it doesn't. Or brighter vinyl's not... Uh, Octavia is not in the mood. Ooh, new stuff here. Let's look at it. Some peppers. 
Never liked spicy food. Final knows this, but she always makes my food extra hot anyway. Perhaps you should give her the benefit of the doubt. It sounds like she's only trying to spice up your life. Uh, maybe. Actually, my meter's already had half point already. Maybe it's maybe it's like only 10 minutes in this uh, demo. And that spider, that looks dangerous. I probably shouldn't touch it. Because it could be like one of those spiders that might, you know, finish you off instantly. Somehow. Anyway, there's a bunch of new stuff here, but I'm gonna just gonna try and look at this thing right now. Because that's what we're supposed to... Well, we're not supposed to do it, but it does help shed some light into the plot. As you approach the dumbwaiter, you can barely hear some voices echoing up from down there. Amongst the voices, you hear some pony very familiar trying to stir up a crowd and get them all to party! You stick your head in and shout. Your friend is still alive and well. You feel a great weight lifted off your shoulders upon hearing her voice. Hmm, will that reduce my sanity meter? That, that probably should do that, considering uh, knowing that your friend is alive would probably help your consciousness. But I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. You know... I feel the dialogue is in this game is a bit... It lasts a bit too long. It, it's... It's reminiscent of a uh, Metal Gear Solid, specifically. You know, Middle Gear Solid series cutscenes, in that they overstate our welcome. They're, they're cool, you know, and I don't mind them, but, like, the gameplay is really good, and I'd rather get back to that. What I'm trying to say here is that I would like for cutscenes to be efficient, to, like, get to the point. But I understand that sometimes you just want to expose a lot, do a bunch of exposition. It's important to know when to do it, though, and when it's not worth the time to just have the characters talk about nothing. Of course, all would be forgiven if this had a neat gameplay effect on my character, you know? If it actually did reduce my sandy meter, well, made it, like, better, that, that would be neat. That would make it, like, not trivial to play this cutscene. I'm already, I'm already at yellow. Did you see that? I really do think there's less time to do things here. Anyway, you have to combine these two because it helps to make a lot of noise, which we need in order to get this key right there. There is a phrase around these parts. Let sleeping wolves lie. Unfortunately for you, you have decided to succeed your device. Alright, you beast. Have some of this! The plan works as the mobile starts to rear back at its tail behind its leg. You approach the cave, playing your music along the way. Once you Get within reach, you throw your instrument down with a final crash and snatch up your prize, rushing away from the world before you can recover. If you go back there, you are screwed. Well, you'll you'll have some time to escape again, but the wolf will still be like ready to go to you. Sog tight, still can't do anything here. Just gonna go over there. Oh wow, that is a humongous spider. Uh maybe it'll kill me? Maybe. It might not be a bad idea if I die occasionally. I always need big spiders. Oh, I'm too big for it? You sure? Well, I'll trust you, Mr. Narrator, even though you're sp Oh, unless you touch its web. Okay, so don't touch the web. You can look at the web, but don't touch it. Also, the meter increases even when you, even when it's like phased out. I don't like that. Anyway, I have the key right here, which I can use on this. The toolbox pops open. But the key breaks off when the lock. No worry though, you won't be in any longer. It's just convenient. Anyway, we need a wrench. Uh, actually, I don't think I need a wrench, but I'll take it anyway, because I might need it in this demo. Also got the oil, which will also be important. And as well as the squirt oil thing. Or the... whatever it's called. Tin can? I don't know. We need this item, probably, though. Because we need to fill it up with the oil. And yeah, I really do have considerably less time to do things in this demo. 
Took some effort, but I refilled the oil can without making a mess. Not much here. Can't take anything else. Okay, let's go out here then. Uh, can I look at this? No, I can't. Let's get out of here. Let's hurry up and... Hmm. All right, I need the item over here using this. I scored a few drops of oil in the runners, which means this thing can now open with no resistance. And we still have the oil can too. Now we got the this thing to in order to be tongs. Yes, tongs. Yeah, he'll just take them. Can we take anything else? No, we cannot. So this is still kind of a tutorial about what to do in order to get to the door that allows you to save, I think, which is what we're about to do right now. So if you touch this head directly, you will die. But if you use the tongs on the key, we can pull out the key safely. Yeah, you're holding something that was in uh, someone's dead mouth. So here's the problem with the whole uh, text lasting too long. Since the meter still increases while that text is happening, I feel it's not worth doing it. It's actually a mistake I did on my own game whenever I will play that. Anyway, you can use the key to unlock this door, which is where you have to go in order to save. The door pulls open, casting a length of warm and inviting light upon you. You feel the illustrious rays pushing away the dreary darkness that hangs about your soul. Even the ghostly whispers that haunt your thoughts fall silent in you of the room's glow, and you can't help but take a peek within. You waste no time stepping inside. And yes, you throw yourself into the study, shutting the door behind you. A convenient bolt allows you to lock it for the extra bit of safety. The voices in your head start to fade as the constant cloud lifts and a gentle clarity returns to your mind. Yes, thank goodness, Octavia. I like... You know what? I really like this room kind of represents what Octavia likes. It really, like, uh, emphasized the safety and her likes and dislikes and whatnot. The music is nice, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Some of it is new. Most of it is new, actually. Uh, yeah, the only team that's not new is uh, the one that was in the m first area that we were back there. It's kind of repetitive, all things considered. In a way, I'm st I still believe I can probably die here, so I'm just going to look everywhere. An odd device sits on the table. You've never seen anything like it before. Oh, the yellow thing? I was looking at the portrait, but whatever. Let's look at it. You approach the strange-looking device, giving it a more thorough look. Or thorough look. Quaint, huh, Octavia? I'm a pretty fast reader, in case some of you haven't noticed, and which is why I think uh, the dialogue in this game is a bit slow. Even the voice dialogue feels like it could be a bit faster. Curious to see what it holds, you rewind the tape and hit the play button. I have them! The foolish zebra didn't even know why I was there! But then again, what else can you expect from one of her kind? This was probably her fault in the first place. It is only right that I use her own tools to undo it. I have no time to write, so I'll be recording. This is the first journal of my attempt to return Sour Note to his rightful place. Alright, let's see what this in these scrolls. Uh, uh, no, no, no. What is this? Why would she employ such useless magic? I thought she was adept at spells and magic. Isn't this what they all say? <sighs> this one is even standing the question. What is this? Zebra writing? Oh, useless at this rate. Wait, here. This looks... Song of the Undead? Well, you might have just have proven your wart after all, Zebra. I certainly have access to the necessary ingredients, and my cello should suffice to hold the enchantment. Yes, yes, this is exactly what I need. Not too long now, my dear Sauronaut. I shall bring you back. This I swear. No, well, the plot thickens, and also I think I was voiced in the girl, but you don't say. I think I was voicing a girl, but you know, it could be a boy too, reviving his uh, sour note, his uh, master. Maybe it's a stallion, actually. A human boy in a game like this? Ruined forever! You rewind a tip and begin saving your story. Oh, that's how I save? Okay, it's the old classic horror type of saving where you talk about yourself and that somehow makes sense and whatnot. 
It's for immersion purposes, you know? And I like that Octavius smiling here. Okay, I got some more stuff I can check here. What is this? Books. The book end is nice. What do you know? Mm-hmm. Aren't we jumping the gun a little? Guns in this game? That'd be terrible. Just keeping it real, as they say. Let's check the tapes. C can I check the tapes? None of these books can help me, huh? Well, there's Pony here, and there's tapes, and that's pretty much it. I'm guessing tapes will have some use at some point. More stuff to check. Uh, that's, the, that's the library. What about here? Now this should take the weight off your shoulders. You stumble upon a large storage chest. Hmm, oh, it's the chest tutorial. And interact with the chest to choose to drop or take inventory. If you are giving, choose an item and then click on the POV screen. When the chest is open, uh, when the chest is open, when talking or taking, click on the item you want to take, then click the add button. Click close to stop giving or taking before you leave the room. The chest can store eight items at a time. Does it like mysteriously transport the objects uh, over the mansion somehow? Uh, well, know what? I'm gonna put the this thing in. Yes, and uh, that's that'll be it. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I don't need the lamp oil or whatever with me right now because I can't fill it up again. But who knows? Anyway, I think that's it for this place. So let's move on. And yes, now it's dangerous again. But if I but if I go back here. It's nice all of a sudden. I love it. Actually, did I check the chandelier? Finally, a gas lamp chandelier that actually works. Its ebbing light provides comfort and a sense of safety to you. It does. It sure does. Maybe I should buy one myself. Okay, back here. There's nothing in here, but I sure bet that if I put my hooves in there, I will suddenly die. An empty cauldron, heated and ready. Well, no, it's empty, apparently. The cauldron shop. Can't do anything here, but probably will eventually. What about here? Hmm. It's a burner. You can use this to heat things up for whatever reason. Or maybe you'd just like to stare at the fire for a while. Have you, Octavia? Have you? See a cutting board. It's pretty lonely without a knife. Mm hmm. Knives everywhere. And if I touch it, I'll probably cut myself. Hmm, actually, is my meter or like a horror meter, insanity meter, increasing right now? There's no dot anywhere. Maybe it's just not like doesn't matter right now, which is why the game is not bothering to show me yet. Ah, another storage chest. And I can select a scroll, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to look at it first. You see a modest storage chest. An engraving of a scroll is a fixed its, is a fix its front. I think that's a typo. Maybe. What if it wasn't made to store scrolls? I'm going to do it anyway. Was that supposed to be Octavius' dialogue? Maybe. I'm a bit confused myself right now. So basically just to store scroll in and it will probably mysteriously open if I do that or something. Maybe. Who knows. It's a little too early to think about that right now. Anyway, that's a box of matches, which we will probably have to take. I don't mind that there's lots of dialogue in this game, especially considering you can all skip it. It's just a... Like, it needs to be to the point, for the most part. What happened? Mm-hmm. Take the box of matches. Empty flask. Another empty flask, and yet another empty flask. Maybe I have to go back to the beginning? Well, not right now. I can still go further right here. Oh, I cannot! I'm pressing the... I'm clicking this door right here, and it's not doing anything. The door's unique frame sends a very clear message. 
I was going to say no soliciting, but that works just as well. And it won't let me enter there, so that's probably off limits. So wait, is that really it for this version? Well, maybe I can do a bit more. I'm going to search around. And I'm also going to save again. Yes, okay, so it only matters when you're around here to do things. And if you go up here, as I said, if you go back up here, that Timber Wolf is still waiting for you. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. Suddenly, the, the wolf is actually following you. Whew. Uh. And I forgot to narrate all that stuff, but that's actually very interesting. So if if you're <coughs> if you go back to the wolf now, that means you're actually completely screwed unless you have access to this area. And I actually have to get rid of the timber wolf somehow. Hmm. Maybe using fire will work? I suppose. Fortunately, it's not waiting for me back here. But if I enter back there, it will follow me. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to beat the Timberwolf. I'm not sure if that's even possible. Well, time to search around. Uh, I'm probably going to skip ahead until something happens for you guys. Because I don't want to waste too much time. Can't reach it now. Maybe I have to reach it. Maybe if I use this. What am I thinking? Yes. What are you thinking? Yeah. There is that voice for like uh, doing random stuff that doesn't actually accomplish anything. But uh, I don't really care all that much about that. Mm-hmm. Refrigerator running. That's such an old joke. Jeez. And yeah, the meter rises up a lot faster now. Kind of crazy. Anyway, we can take the hat. Hat's off to me. Can I put the hat on? Can't use the item on myself. Seriously? Why not? That'd be kind of neat if you could. Or perhaps a boat. Hmm. Can I light it? That did nothing. Hmm. Well, hopefully I can't run out of matches. There is no response. You fear the worst, but something in the back of your mind tells you to keep going. Really? Well, you can peer into the hole if you want. No, and it's forcing me on yes now for some reason? Or no, it's supposed to be white when you want to make sure. I, I don't, I'm not sure if you file blindly if you check too deeply, but... Uh, Eh, you know what? If I can't figure out anything, uh, I'll probably end the video with uh, Octavia just falling down the hole. And you can... Hmm. Takes time to refill your character? Oh no, it's just instant. But... She, oh, now she's smiling. Okay, she's only smiling when you're already in the green. Okay, that's neat. I like seeing her smile. First word, Magicka. Hmm. That's probably going to be relevant to the scrolls, I bet. Can I burn this stuff? Can I? Can I? No. Can I use the wrench? No? I'm just gonna click randomly at everything until something happens. Maybe I can burn the head. That, that better not be some kind of puzzle in this game. I don't want any insane puzzle in this game, Hero of Time 1000, please. Can I light this thing up? That did not no. Can I it's burn not this thing? Hmm. Actually, maybe I have to burn the spider over there. Well, I can light this thing, though. Can I? Can, why can't I light the candle? Ah. Uh. Signs of use. Hmm. Can I take the candle? Yes, I can. But it probably can't last forever. Can it? I don't think so. Hmm. But it'll probably work on the spider. The way upstairs is blocked with a huge spider web, not to mention the huge spider that guards it. I need to kill that thing, not just to get through, but to also give myself peace of mind. Set it on fire, maybe? Hmm. 
Well, that's pretty much my only option. I either have to set the spider on fire or the dog on fire. I'm just going to save quickly because I don't want to restart any of these steps and see what works. Or if it doesn't work at all. Alright, spider. Time to go- wait, what, really? Well, can I- I'm not even going- No? What am I- No? It's not gonna work? Dang it. Hmm, what does this uh, light bulb do up there? Is it just to, like, warn you that your inventory is full or something? Potentially. Anyway, I can't light the candlestick on fire for some reason. Take a precious minute to plant yourself on the chair and relax. Been on my hooves all night. Uh, can I put the hat on the cauldron? Don't just throw your things in from across the room. Get closer, okay? Can I put the hat in? Cauldron without water is an oversized frying pan. Unless you want your inventory done sunny side up, I don't recommend you do that. But I don't have to light the cauldron up, so what am I doing? Use a candlestick on one of these. Can't be crushed. Hmm. Using the pestle by itself will make a mess on the table. I need a mortar or at least something I can use for a bowl. Like the hat? Simply amazing. Amazing that I managed to use the critical problem solving techniques to overcome this small hurdle in a creative and challenging way that promotes parallel out of the box thinking? Yes, Octava, yes! But what can I crush? Uh, amazing how lazy you are, huh, Octavia? I don't agree with you, Mr. Narrator, about that. Anyway, I bet I have to crush the candle. Hmm. You need a recipe in mind? Dang it. Well, at least I, I show that we can do this. Oh, and if we, we can remove the hat if we want to. So the hat might have to use... Might have another use at some point. And we could take a vial. Only one at a time, though. Mm-hmm, it won't. So therefore, I'll put it back in. And this was broken. And we can't do anything with it. So we only have three vials that we can take. All individually, too. Very neat touch. Well, maybe I can light the candle on fire using this uh, frying pan pot. Let's go. Ridiculous. Ridiculous? Alright. Well, there's always a spider I can check, but if I can't figure out anything with the spider, then... Well, what else can I do? Ridiculous. Hmm. Use the wrench to kill it? What am I... Hmm, nope. How about the box of matches? Wait, wait, there's a message here. The third word is... Fylerupa. Something like that. Fillerupa, something like that. Sorry for the French accent, but that's how I was born. So that's third word. And where's the second one, though? I actually didn't find it. It's probably, like, uh, upstairs or something. And what about this? Nah, uh, I can't check it out. Okay, so I know about two of the words, but not the second word. Well, let's try touching this thing directly. As you draw closer, it gives you a kiss on the hoof. Proclaims of its undying love, and the both of you end up living happily ever after in a story, two-story mansion with your 3,000 kids. <laughs> okay, so this little spider doesn't actually do anything. And I can't carry any garlic braid. Hmm. Hmm, alright, so we can take garlic and red pepper. Maybe those are ingredients I can use. Oh, and there's also the water tap. Maybe I can get some for some water. Except it's not working. Oh well. Okay, I got the whole bunch of peppers. And only one bushel, well, not the whole bushel, just one garlic. Alright, what can I do with these items though? Maybe I could put the peppers in here? No, I cannot. If only I could find a water source. Hmm. 
That's assuming there's a water source to begin with, but I'm pretty sure the game, like, uh, the game will tell me that the demo is over when I figure out everything I can do. I'm gonna continue searching around until something happens. Maybe I can crush the thing? Wait. This? Uh, but I need a recipe first. Dang it. Oh! Never saw this before. Well, got a bag of flour. Might be useful if you want to bake bread later. Who knows how long it's... I'm staying here. And I'm carrying too much stuff so I can't take the screwdriver yet. But that means I have to put an item that I don't know it's exact... Well, actually, I can put that in. Yeah, I'll put that in. But I know it's here. It's actually... No, wait. I'm just gonna put the hat with the pistol. That's clearly what its use is gonna be in this demo. I think. Will this help tighten loose ends? Or will you end up being screwed instead? We shall see. Hmm, maybe the flower is supposed to be applied on myself. That would be neat, you know, to turn Octavia into a, like, like Pinky does in uh, Baby Cakes. Maybe that'd be useful for scaring the wolf. Or, you know, it would be a neat attempt, but it then wouldn't work and then it'd be automatic end. But that could be annoying for some players. Well, maybe I'm supposed to do something with the head somehow. It, like, it might still be able to bite me, but, you know, it might have some use. Hmm. Oh, this! Yes, of course! The hell? Aw, oh, come on. How come I can't do anything with this? It's locked tight. There's a key somewhere. But I'm pretty sure I used all of them already. Well, there's a drawer right there, but I can't unlock it, can I? That didn't. No, I cannot. How about this thing? Re that. Nope. Actually, there is a knife I can take. Yeah, it's this one. Dang it. Give me the knife. Slices and dices. Knife goes here. Easy fix. Already used the item. Probably to be used on the garlic. But we need a recipe in mind first. Where can I find a recipe, though? That is the question. Better question would be, actually, why would I need a recipe? Probably can be found if I go on the second floor somehow. Okay, I can take back the knife, so it might still have some use somewhere. Maybe against a spider. The small one. <laughs> what am I? No, it is not. Uh, well, I guess I can use it against the big spider. It's no. Except it's no use. Terrific. Uh. You know, it's. I think it's the the issue right now is that I have concerns about just randomly clicking something and accidentally dying. Except I'm starting to feel I'm gonna have to do that in order to proceed with this game. Maybe a hint system wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, if you search around, you can find, like, uh, small pieces of text that just give you more hints. Like, you know, the f those first word, Magica, and sec third word, uh, file Puree, something like that. Those are hints, right? Probably need to find out about those, right? Basic hints that help you with the plot uh, and figure out what to do next might help, too. Like, do I need water right now? Do I need to kill the spider? Do I need to kill the timber wolf? What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Actually, maybe it maybe it is Timberwolf I'm supposed to do something with. Potentially? No. It, I, I get into a dead end if I, like, deal with the Timberwolf. Like, unless I run into the place right here. Hmm. Well, time to skip ahead until I figure something out. Ah, uh, well, what do you know? So, looking closely at the hole actually ca caused you to die. What do you know? 
Only our corpse makes it to the bottom. And yeah, the, the ending is pretty much the same. The game over music is uh, new though. Quest is over, what do you know? But I have a save file right here. That never happened, that was a demo, like the game. Or maybe I'm supposed to throw a rock at it and it'll suddenly die. Well, it could potentially be the matches that I have to use against the Timberwolf. Because it's an item I could only get after I get into this area. It, it can't be any items that I get back in the first area, because then that will break the sequence. Logically. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's try something. It's probably not going to work. It's probably not a good idea, but... I'm going to see what happens if I try to lead the timber wolf to the spider. Maybe they'll kill each other. Somehow. Ah, uh, so if you go to the left, you just uh, get killed immediately. You know, there should be a spider web here through the doorway, but it's not there for some reason. It's one of those things that would be a nice touch if it were added here of Time 1000. In a way, I'm just about ready to give up, honestly. I am British, I know this spider will kill me if I touch it, so... Not knowing what to do anymore, it's kind of bothersome. Okay, 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 I'm gonna stop this here. Uh, as some of you may have noticed, I'm quite lost now that I've entered a new area. I don't know what to do. And it's because I'm missing some pretty obvious stuff, and also because, uh... Well, I don't know what to do. It uh, takes a lot of t long time to figure out what to do when you're in one of these types of games, the old adventure type, which is apparently inspired by Uninvited, especially some of the music. Now, uh, apparently uh, this game, has, this demo, has a lot of content, so you know what, I'm going to stop this video here and continue playing later. I'm, I'm, I haven't really progressed much past the deaths and whatnot, but I know how to, what to do after like come back like I know I know one thing that I can pick up and I know that I'm supposed to find one other magic word in order to get water inside the pulgin. Besides that though I know nothing else so who knows I'll probably be quite lost when I get back to this game but you know it's, it might be part of the experience because that's how it is with adventure games like that and I hope you all enjoyed this video so far and hope you all have a very nice day. Next time the continuation of this demo which will probably last for at least two more videos it's it's a pretty big demo, guys. I, I Link in the description if you guys want to try this out yourselves. It's because you're going to have to wait a day before I continue playing this game. Anyway, bye-bye.